Whoa, looks to be in good condition. Let's get this cleaned up. Silver doesn't look great after being in the ocean. This tobacco tin is covered in silver sulfide. I'll have to gently wash this using a soft brush, making sure I don't scratch the surface underneath. It's come up great. in the acetone bath. These banknotes are delicate and will need a good rinsing in the desalination bath. Then we can treat them in the fungicide to keep them clean before freeze drying them. This journal is pretty special. The pages seem to be a fabric paper blend. I think the desalination bath will leach out the salt. Then it can go into the PEG station before freeze drying. package. That's interesting. Here's our sponsor. We can tell her the news. Hi team, how are you both? Hi Gillian, we're doing great. We've just finished cleaning the artifacts we found today. We managed to access Henderson's cabin and retrieve his briefcase. Wonderful. Inside we found his journal, a few personal items still in good condition. One interesting item is a receipt for a telegraph sent on the night of the sinking. Oh, that is interesting. I didn't know William sent a message. That's what we thought. It's possible it wasn't sent, and that it's still in either the purser's office or the Marconi room. We're thinking our next dive should be to explore these rooms. I know teams have searched the Marconi room before, but I didn't think the purser's office was accessible. Yeah, up till now it's been off limits due to the size of ROVs, but ours is small enough to access it. We're hoping we might find the purser's record book, with the message listed. As for the Marconi room, other dives have shown most of the furniture is deteriorated but the telegraph canisters might have survived. Hmm, sounds plausible. Let me know if you find anything. I'd love to see the message he sent. I have only the letters from Southampton. I noticed something odd in his journal. On the 14th he mentions carrying some special package, but I'm sure he didn't have anything reported in the manifest. Do you have any idea what it could be? Well, in his last letter, he wrote about returning home with a present for my great-grandmother. I'll do a bit of research on my end. I can check over the manifest again to see if we missed anything. Great, we'll let you know if we find anything tomorrow. I'm sending over photos of the items we found today. Thanks, I really appreciate the regular updates. It's making writing much easier. We'll talk again soon. Well, shall we call it a day? Not quite. Gillian was kind enough to order in a stronger transmitter for our ROV. We'll need to fit it before the dive tomorrow. Otherwise, we won't be able to reach the purser's office. 
I'll get on it now, then. It's waiting for you over there. Thanks. I need to replace the transmitter in the ROV with the one on the table next to it. The instructions for replacement are on the posters behind the ROV rack, and I can access the lower... Ready to go for tomorrow. Cool. I'll see you in the morning then.